Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Jess Palmer, the host of The Golden Bachelor, commented on the conflict this week between Theresa and Kathy. There was controversy when Kathy thought Theresa was boasting about her relationship with Jerry Turner. Two women broke down in tears as the situation worsened. What took place and what did Jesse think of it all? On Thursday night, Golden Bachelor experienced its first controversy in the house. Jerry Turner, the Golden Bachelor, is beginning to develop close relationships with a number of the female contestants. Theresa and Kathy are two of them. Theresa and Jerry had a great time together as fans watched Theresa get Jerry's first one-on-one -on -one date. April emphasized the necessity for the women to refrain from bragging about their time spent with Jerry. Theresa understood that she was the focus of the talk. Then she understood that April was speaking for Kathy. It turns out that Theresa's bragging about her relationship with Jerry annoyed Kathy. While speaking with Jerry, things became emotional, and Kathy started crying. She claimed that she received some daggers on that particular day. So in order to reassure her, Jerry gave her a rose prior to the wedding. Theresa then drew Kathy away to talk it over. She was becoming possessive and territorial. With the Golden Bachelor, Kathy reprimanded her. Theresa denied that her claim that she was merely attempting to be forthright and honest was truthful. Theresa then started to become upset. She sobbed as she entered her bedroom. Jerry went looking for her to comfort her. He truly likes her, but he doesn't want any drama because he thinks it might be a roadblock. She receives a rose nonetheless. At the rose ceremony, Theresa and Kathy both spoke and praised Jerry for being a great guy. He approached me and said the most amazing thing, Theresa continued. He approached the area where I was sobbing uncontrollably in my bedroom. That annoyed Kathy. Theresa was instructed by her to keep such matters to herself. I believe Theresa to be a wonderful lady, Kathy confessed. I'm not sure if she's a complete moron or knows what she's doing. Zip that lip. Jess Palmer comments. Jess Palmer's comments regarding the Golden Bachelor's turmoil this week were published by Entertainment Weekly. He'd seen a lot of drama before, but was this one any different? The Golden Women manage their drama with a lot more finesse and diplomacy, Jesse said. They discuss it. There isn't any yelling or screaming, but that doesn't necessarily imply they agree and find resolution. He added that he did not think Thoreso was attempting to manipulate anyone. What do you think of the circumstances? Keep checking back for more information and spoilers, and don't miss Thursday night's ABC premiere of The Golden Bachelor. That was the lesson learned from The Golden Bachelor's episode from October 12, when an early frontrunner decided to depart the ABC reality series early after getting a call from home. Spoilers ahead, beware. A day after receiving a rose from the 72-year-old widower, Joan Vassos made the difficult decision to say goodbye to Jerry Turner. After getting a text message from one of her four children saying that they needed her help at home, Joan, 60, stopped their relationship. My daughter just had a baby, and it wasn't a normal, everyday delivery at all, Joan said. Even if everything went perfectly, things can go wrong, therefore you still need your mother. My priority will always be my family. Even though your children are older, once you become a mother, you never stop being one. There is nothing more crucial. The private school administrator from Rockland, Maryland broke down in tears when she said she would be leaving. And Jerry broke down in tears when Joan informed him she had to go home. As much as I don't want to leave our journey, Joan said, I gotta be a parent. Jerry acknowledged his understanding while also saying, I can't tell you how disappointed I am. But he continued, 
There's a moral compass that we both share and sometimes the right thing to do is the hardest. Even though she was acting in the best interests of her family, in the wake of the death of her husband of 32 years to pancreatic cancer, Joan couldn't help but believe that she was doing the wrong thing for them. Jerry and Joan connected through having lost their husbands in their one-on-one -on -one conversation the day before. And for Joan, it was a crucial conversation. She said to Jerry, it was one of the best nights of my life. Honestly, it's the first time that's happened since my husband died away, and our connection was so strong. My heart seemed to have been healed. At the rose ceremony later in the show, Jerry also bid farewell to Edith Aguirre and Christine Kempton, leaving nine ladies competing for his final rose. Find out which Bachelor Nation couples are still together while we await Jerry's decision. I am happy with how this season turns out. A statement made in this way, Charity Lawson teased to E. News undersold her August 2023 final. Dota Nolubeko, a specialist in integrative medicine, got down on one knee and pleaded with the child and family therapist. Would you do me the honor of making this fairy tale into a reality? The Georgia native will first take a spin around the dancing with the Stars Ballroom before waiting for their happily ever after. The couple said they're thinking about a 2025 or 2026 wedding. All right, baby, Doden said to Charity on The Bachelorette, after the final rose. Now I'm aware that you enjoy cutting up dancing, and getting down. You are aware that we have spoken about how fantastic this opportunity would be. I'm delighted to be the one to inform you that you will be appearing on Dancing with the Stars. Let's go, baby. Zatch will experience a joyful ending. Despite numerous fantasy suite-related missteps, Zatch Shawcross proposed to his girlfriend at the end of season 27 in March 2023. His words to traveling nurse Katie Bigar were, I am so in love with you. You are my everything. I could never have imagined the amount of love I feel for you. The Texas-based couple took an even bigger step in their journey in July 2023, when Katie shared on Instagram that they were officially roommates. Oh, the complicated webs we spin when we try to find love in Bachelor Nation. Victoria Fuller, the medical sales representative who competed for Peter Weber's love on Bachelor in Paradise's eighth season, showed up to the November 2022 reunion in a super serious relationship. And not with Johnny DeFilippo, the realtor whose proposal she accepted in Mexico. Fuller and DeFilippo broke off their engagement soon after leaving the Nayarit beaches with DeFilippo, who courted baccalaureate Gabby Windy and went on vacation to Italy with friend and fellow suitor Greg Grippo. And as it happens, that was love. This past November, when they first made arrangements to live together, Greg said, she's my person. Every day we expand, and I think it will end in marriage. I desire that. And I am aware of how significant that is to her. And I wish I could accompany her on that step. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.